Good day, folks. Um, we are here with the uh, Phoenix A320 Block 2 uh, version 2. And um, primarily, I want to check um, performances of this new version because uh, they promised some kind of optimization in terms of frames per second. And in VUAR, um, you know, this plane is particularly heavy for a GPU and the, the rendering CPU 8.3 milliseconds and the uh, GPU is 27 point something milliseconds. So you, you can see that the load, the load on the GPU is, is very, very high. And this is this results in FPS being 33, 30, so well below to my um, target, which is 40. So performance-wise, I would say that it is like before, it is like version 1. Uh, there are many improvements, many fixes, many additions have been done. Uh, there's a, a countless list uh, on the Phoenix application where you are putting your um, account data. There are, there are a log file with plenty of, um, of, of changes that have been done. But the most important for me was to um, that this plane would have been flyable, flyable in, in, in VR. And I think it's still not at least at, at the same extent uh, the PMDG is, for example, because 30, 32 frames per second are not smooth, and are, I don't know how the pancake video will will be, but in, inside the VR, it's pretty much, you know, it's a bit, um, not shaky, but it's laggy, it's a bit laggy. Uh, we are very at the very northern latitude here at um, the Svalbard Island. And this is the main uh, airport. This is the um, most northern airport in the world. We are, we are near close to the Arctic Circle. Maybe we are, yeah. Maybe we are beyond the Arctic Circle. Um, so, as you may notice, the align time is very, very high. The align time of the IRS is um, the highest. Is the latitude? The longer it takes to align the IRS. And it was m more or less more than 10 minutes for sure. Where normally it takes 6-7 minutes at, um, at latitudes I normally fly with. Um, so another important feature additions have been uh, has been brought with this um, with this version is the the I I A E engine type, which is very good, very nice. Um, here they are, and also the sounds of these engines are great. Uh, we will hear them later and during the takeoff. So this variant has been added to the to the package, and the next uh, variants would be payware would be the A three nine A three nineteen and A three twenty one versions of this plane would be pay payware. Anyway. 
let's wait for the systems to align and then we'll, we'll attempt a takeoff to see um, what the flight model is like because many people um, are saying that the flight model um, got a big big improvement um, the way the plane fly the way in the play flare at landing now maybe it feels like more um, close to the behavior uh, that the fly-by-wire system uh, would require and maybe the developers have done a big uh, a big work on tuning on fine-tuning the flight model so we'll see uh, we'll see this as well so in the meantime we have set a very short flight plan um, it will be a round robin around this small airport and I on purpose I've selected this airport um, for a couple of reasons the first one it it's a beautiful scenery but the main one is that there's nothing around scenery wise so um, all the performance all the uh, yes all, all the um, you know the, the system load is given by the plane and nothing else or almost nothing else so just to test um, the performance of the plane itself two minutes oh, we can start the APU in the meantime let's simplify a bit this overlay panel let's keep only the FPS counts okay flap is open fuel pumps on one minute left for alignment QNH is 1013 hectopascal no it's not we have I've just adjusted the area at 1016 to me it seems that also the cockpit sounds have been improved uh, they sound different from before okay we have the system aligned Nav navigation accuracy upgraded and the flight plan we have set the performance and APU bleed on uh, beacon and okay we have pressure and we can start engine number two You can see the different layout of this main display for the engines. This is the uh, IAE models.
there's something not good. Uh, engine to start fail off. Uh, what is missing? APU bleeds on. We retry engine start position. We have pressure. APU bleed. And now we have a good start. I don't know why uh, before it was not working. Maybe the troll was not in the idle position, I don't know. So, good start for engine number two. Flops one. Number two available. Let's start number one. Still, still 32 frames per second. Which is barely flyable to me. And I have to say that in the Phoenix initial application I've chosen to use primarily the CPU rather than the, the GPU and trying to um, relieve some load from from the graphic card but it seems that it's not properly working or I don't know because the frames are like um, are the same as my first attempt with the full GPU loading. Okay, so also engine number one is available. So normal mode here. APU blade off. APU off. Taxi light on. Strobe auto, landing lights off, thirty one. Parking brake off on the tow brakes. We can remove the chocks and cones, and uh, we can remove the external power. We can go, and as soon as we remove the tow brakes, the plane is starting to move with no with no use of the throttle so maybe this is the way it should do so no action 
no advancing of thrust and there's Oh, the, the idle power is sufficient to make the plane advance until 10, I don't know, it got to 10 knots very quickly, maybe we got the wrong direction anyway, <coughs> we will do some backtrack to runway 09. It's not, it's definitely not smooth, it's, 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 it's very laggy. Strobe on, landing lights on, nose lights take off. Tickets on. Twenty eight frames per second. What break, Max? Kevin, take your seat for takeoff. Test config. Normal. Let's have our probe ETH window on engine anti ice on prediction windshield auto ops little bump I have to say that also the recording uh, the VR recording is GPU demanding so I, for, for sure I'm losing many frames just for the fact that I'm recording in VR and I'm also using a stabilizer filter that adds um, additional work to the GPU so maybe without recording probably I Maybe I would be at 35, 36 frames per second, but with all this application running, I am below 30. Ready? Brakes off. Flex power. Flex 57 SRS runway climb nav. Outer throttle blue. Speed live. Beautiful sounds. 100 knots. V1 rotate. Pause the rate of climb, gear up. Mm 
autopilot one engaged level climb Beautiful landscape. Speed checked, flops up. Get in mode. Right turn. Let's talk to two forty. Two thirty. Let's always keep an eye on the terrain. Enter destination data. We just heard one zero one six here, and the wind is uh, we can we can set only the temperature and the. Uh, 200 radio and we can activate approach phase uh, there's something missing there's something missing temperature no it's 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 nice. It's okay. Let's go down to three thousand feet. Two twenty. We are clear of the mountains, we are over the sea, so we can go down. Water break, medium. Still 30, 29, 30, 31 maximum frame per second. 
landing system. Can go direct to FF zero nine er. Ground spoilers armed. Localizer armed. and approach armed speed check flops one 160 2500 Gear down. Speed managed. Flops two. Speed checked. Speed checked. Flops three. And speed checked flops four. Flight director of Autopilot disengaged. Let's handle it manually. Yeah, it's kind of different. I can feel it heavier. One thousand. Heavier but more precise. Yes, definitely. I like it better. Seven hundred feet per minute, 
to greens to red. Hundred above. Minimum. Light slow. Continue. Light slow. Too low. Terrain. 30. Twenty. Retard. Ten. Five. Reverse green. Mono braking. Vacating. Yes, frames are very laggy. I will try also in pancake mode to see how it goes, but in, in VR it's very, very, you know, you have to, how can I say, struggle a bit with it. But the flight model, to me, it seems better. And these engine sounds are beautiful. I got the wrong, wrong side. Here is the uh, the parking position. Parking brake. Let's call the GPU chock scones. External power on. Shutting down. The board. Okay, pretty good, but I thought it would be better. A little bit of a bummer. Anyway, the Phoenix is... However, anyway, it's... Um, it's an awesome plane. It's, it's you know, for 50, 60 bucks. It's a gem. It's you know, um, I don't have words to um, describe the goodness of this plane. I just would hoped for a better performance, but maybe it's my, you know, it's my other limitations that um, that allow me to reach maximum 30 frames per second VR. I may, I might have to uh, upgrade to the uh, 4000 series, maybe 40, 80, 40, 90. Um, we will see. For time being, it's okay. I hope you uh, liked this short test. Um, Nothing. That's it, and 
see you to the next video. Bye bye to everyone.